Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, we look at the fourth ranked NBA player of all time. And I don't even know who it is yet. You know, we're in the top five, right? Number five was Kobe. I'm going to I'm gonna react to the player, the name, and, and what it means to me with you guys in real time. So let's go. Who's it going to be? Magic Johnson. Okay. Never saw him play live. I've seen him with his old bald head. Uh, behind the desk, you know, sports centre, that type of thing. I don't really know how he played, and I, I certainly don't know how short those shorts really were. But, either way, number four on the list, Magic Johnson, here we go. When you talk about the best point guards in NBA history, it would be impossible to not have Magic Johnson as number one. For this list, he lands at number four overall, and for good reason. Mag Magic simply changed the game of basketball when he burst onto the NBA scene out of Michigan State in 1979. Just think about how incredible it is that in his first season in the league, he started Game 6 of the NBA Finals at centre and dropped 42 points! As a point guard? He played all five positions in the game and led the Lakers to their first title in nearly a decade. Oh my god. This was just the start for Magic, clearly, because it was his first season. And who, at his size, completely changed the way that basketball would be looked at. Would, would, the, sorry. Sorry, guys. Rewind. This was just the start for Magic, who, at his size, completely changed the way the basketball world looked at guards. His numbers and accolades looked look unreal in 2020, with five championships, three MVPs, nine-time All-NBA First Team selections, and inclusion on the NBA's 75th anniversary team. Magic had one of the best careers in league history. And the best part? He made the game fun. That's what made Magic so special as a player. He and Larry Bird literally saved the game... He and Larry Bird literally saved the league in the 80s. And while they couldn't have been more different stylistically, there's no argument whose influence on the game of basketball was greater. The captain of the Showtime Lakers should firmly be included on anyone's NBA Top 5 list. So I, I, I don't know how tall he was. I'm going to say 6'5", as a point guard who played centre during Game 6 of the NBA Finals and dropped 42 points. Five-time champion, three MVPs, nine-time All-NBA first-team selection. Okay. He made the game fun. He's an absolute GC, and which is you know what we, what we call them down here in these parts, a good cunt. All right, guys, let's get into it. Actually, come to think of it, what was his name? I feel like his name was Larry, so the two Larrys. The Celtics and the Lakers, right? Is, what's his name? What's his name? Magic? Magic? What's his name? Larry? Magic Johnson. Highlights. First video. Until we're impressed. I get it. But I just need to know. I think it... What was his first name? Was it Larry? Because if that's the case... Irvin. Magic Johnson. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Completely off the ball there. Either way, let's get into it. That lights up a television screen. Well, he had fun, didn't he? It's showtime. Oh, it's showtime, all right. What do we got here? Ooh! Wow, that's incredible hand strength. Am I impressed? Yes, I am. Not quite. Not quite to level that... Well, I'm impressed by Larry Bird's fucking moustache. The fact that he's able to, to shave it that small, but either way. I just don't think there'll ever be another 6'9 point guard. 6'9! 6'9! Nine. Nine. That's something else. Smiles while he uh, humiliates you. <laughs> what?! Holy shit! Those are some assists. Oh my god! I'm assuming he was known for his assists. Oh, mate. No, I've seen enough. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.